स्टूडेंट्स बात चल रही है डिजिटल टू एनलॉग कन्वर्जन की और हमने देखा था कि देर आर फोर डिफरेंट टेक्निक्स देर आर अवेलेबल फॉर द डिजिटल टू एनलॉग कन्वर्जन द फर्स्ट वन वॉज एम्पलीट्यूड शिफ्ट की वी वेरी द एम्पलीट्यूड फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड फेज रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट देन वी हैड फ्रीक्वेंसी शिफ्ट की वी वेरी द फ्रीक्वेंसी एम्पलीट्यूड एंड फेज रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट एंड देन वी हैड द फेज शिफ्ट की इन विच वी वेरी द फेज बट एम्पलीट्यूड एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट and then we had a fourth technique which is quadrature amplitude modulation ya phir cam and in this cam it's a combination of ask and psk students so before we go into each one of these in further detail we need to discuss a few aspects of the digital to analog conversion that are going to be important in our discussion of these um, different methods of digital to analog conversion that we briefly spoke about students so the first aspect is that of bit rate and baud rate uh, bit rate Uh, represents your data rate and baud rate represents your signal rate data element or signal element ka concept hum logo ne pehle bhi study kiya um they apply in their exact same constant um in their exact same expression in their exact same concept for analog transmission as well there is slight difference and we are going to talk about that and then you have got the the concept of data rate in bits per second and that of baud rate in signal elements per second students um the second aspect that we are going to be talking about is that of a carrier signal carrier signal is uh, related to the process of modulation that we have just discussed and this process of modulation and the carrier signal is going to be important in our discussion of digital to analog conversion is slide pe dekhiyega ke in the case of analog transmission of digital data our baud rate as you can see is less than or equal to the bit rate so our signal rate in essence is less than or equal to the bit rate students so once again we have discussed the concept of um, data elements and this in this case um, as you already know from our previous discussion your data element is it's nothing but uh, the smallest uh, possible a piece of information that we need to exchange and normally that is a bit so students um, signal element ka concept bhi hum logo ne study kiya tha and that concept of of signal element is that it is the smallest unit of a signal so smallest unit unit of a uh, signal that is constant students so uh, pretty much the same uh, definitions apply to the analog transmission except that um, there is a slight change in signal element and we'll go through that it's not a it's not a, a very big one now the relationship of data rate versus signal rate we went through that as well so your signal rate was equal to n which is your data rate divided by r ratio r remember the number of data elements that are carried in one signal element students so in the case of analog transmission this r is equal to log to the base 2 capital l and students this l that i have underlined this l is the number of different signal elements that we have got so to summarize students bit rate is the number of bits per second baud rate is the number of signal elements per second and important factor is that in analog transmission the baud rate is always less than or equal to that of the bit rate ab students uh, another important concept is that of bandwidth required so in the case of analog transmission the bandwidth that is required is always proportional to the signal rate the more the signal rate the more the bandwidth required the lesser the signal rate the lesser the bandwidth required except for the case of frequency shift keying we'll discuss that in more detail but for now you need to understand that frequency shift keying के केस में बैंडविड्थ इज नॉट डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू दैट ऑफ सिग्नल रेट एंड दैट इज बिकॉज ऑफ द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द कैरियर सिग्नल्स इन द केस ऑफ एफ एस के दैट वी नीड टू एड इन टू दैट बैंडविड बट विल डिस्कस दैट लेटर ऑन स्टूडेंट्स द थर्ड एस्पेक्ट दैट वी नीड टू फेमिलराइज आर सेल्फ विद इज दैट ऑफ कैरियर सिग्नल सो बेसिकली इट्स अ कैरियर सिग्नल एंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मॉडुलेशन students analog transmission mein the sending device produces a high frequency signal that's x as a base of the informational signal 
So at the sender end, and this is important because we are going to be using it throughout our analog transmission discussion, the sender produces a high frequency signal. And this high frequency signal is the base of our information signal that we are sending. Students, this high frequency signal is called the carrier signal. So every analog transmission will need to produce this carrier signal or high frequency signal that will act as the base of our information signal. Um, and essentially what we'll be doing is the information signal that we need to send, we will modulate that information signal over this base, over this carrier signal to send it to the sender. So hence the receiving device is tuned to the frequency of this carrier signal or the carrier signal that it expects from the sender and then the digital information, jo humne hai, the information that we are going to be sending that um, changes this carrier signal by modifying one or more of its characteristics, amplitude, frequency, and phase. And these changes will tell the receiver um, as to what data we are sending. Very important concept of carrier signal and modulation. This is also called as um, shift keying sometimes. <laughs> 